You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week, and I'm gonna be playing another Capcom game, fighting game. This is Marvel Super Heroes. And, uh, yeah, very popular right now. It features the Infinity Gauntlet, which Thanos is wielding. He's the end boss, by the way, and, um, uh, very popular since uh, the movie is censored around uh, that one. I'm just gonna go ahead with... Oh jeez. I'll just go with Psylocke. I don't know who to choose. So yeah, the infinity gems are, or stones, I, I believe what they're called these days, uh, are heavily featured here and that you can use them. It will give you additional abilities. I suppose that happened in the latest Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. So yeah, they, they've done it before. And this came out on the PlayStation 1. It's actually a good port, but there are obviously missing frames, so it's not perfect. And I think, I, I, I can't remember, but uh, Doctor Doom was playable in the PlayStation version. And there's also like Anita from Dark Stalkers. Just for fun, I guess, they added those characters. So, sorry I had to choose a character that just spams, 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 fireballs often. Well, she does have air combos, but if you recall on my previous video, I am having trouble because I'm using a stick and it's default configuration. The layout is kind of confusing. Uh. So I'll try. Well, Spidey's giving me a hard time here. Ah, forget it. Sarnlock's inclusion here is kind of an oddball though, since I guess they just needed like a female character. They just reused someone from uh, the previous game, X-Men Children of the Atom. And there's another oddball, a character who isn't even well known even to Marvel fans, Shumagorath. But yeah, I do believe he's like a Doctor Strange villain. And he's nothing like that in the comics. Unlike what you see right now. Ugh, wasted that. I've always been saying it's better to load the arcade ROM set instead of the like the PS1 ISO just because you get the there's no compromise on the graphics and uh, there's no loading. Oh. 
Oh, <laughs> he almost caught me there. Blockheart, another character that wasn't really didn't really do anything in the Infinity Gauntlet storyline. His dad, Mephisto, a major character though. Acts like the Ken's uh, Shinryuken. Oh man. The Heart of Darkness, that's his super. playing this a lot in the arcades and um, up until people figured out um, Wolverine's infinite yeah it kind of killed the game for me because that's all everybody does I mean it's fun to do but when you're having matches it's no fun if that's all they're trying to do So I just settled for playing this again when it came out for the PlayStation version. At least I uh, played it on my friend's house, I remember. I feel embarrassed not being able to do the air juggles despite me using a arcade stick right now. trade hit and I think that should be it for this video and yeah Marvel Super Heroes definitely working great on the PlayStation Classic I had no doubt and um, go ahead load it in fact I recommend it Fighting game fans, or even non-fighting game fans, or even just Marvel fans, this will definitely be a treat. Back when uh, 2D art, pixel art, are still awesome. I guess they're still awesome today. It just depends who makes it. But I like how amazingly, like 
the comics these guys are here. You know, as opposed to the one in Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. They look really horrible there. Can't seem to... Huh. The gem won't come out. Anyway, that's it for this video. You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week. This is Marvel Superheroes. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.